There's so much consistency with this program that even when there's change, there's consistency too. I'm Russ Eisenstein, voice of the Bobcats, joined by former linebacker coach, now defensive coordinator, Ron Collins. When you hear that again as a D coordinator again, that's got to make you smile, huh? Well, it does. You know, it's it's a it's a great position to be in, and I enjoy you know working with with the guys in this leadership role, and you know, very very humbled that Coach Solich put me in it. It's cool. We we did an on camera interview with Will Evans the other day, and and he said that the fact that you are the D coordinator, but the fact that they saw your face, heard your voice, that certainly helps these guys. Do you think that that's a help too? I, definitely. You know, one of the biggest things for me was. You know, uh, I've known Jimmy Burrow since I was 18 years old. So, you know, he, he was my position coach in college. And so we've been together as GA, you know, off and on throughout the years. And so, you know, for me to come in here and, and be here for the last eight years and help develop this defense, I think the guys, you know, felt very comfortable that there wasn't going to be a huge change and that things were going to be, you know, that they were going to be able to go out there and play fast and not have to do a lot of thinking. It's interesting to take a look at the path of, of anybody, really, player, broadcaster, coach, whatever. Um, you were a defensive coordinator at, at Boise State in Colorado not that long ago, but there have been changes in the college game from then to now. What do you think the, the role is now of a D coordinator that might have been different than what it was back then? Well, it, Certainly for me is is one is to stay out of the way of the other guys, you know, just let them coach, you know, we, we hired them to be, uh, you know, to develop the uh, defensive line, linebackers um, and and corners. And so let those guys coach, but within the scheme. So I'm, I'm here to manage all of that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we certainly all work together very well. And then, you know, for me, it's, it's to be able to manage a game up in, the, up in the press box. And so I choose to be in the press box because, you know, I don't like the distractions down on the yeah. field. So, um, you know, being able to keep up with, hey, is it a, is it a big, big team, a 20 21 12 team, mm -hmm. um, a NASCAR team, you know, a Mike Leach team, air raid team, sure. you know, so we have to be able to develop our defense that we can, we can, you know, defend each one of those types of schemes, you know, within the MAC. I think fans would be curious to know is it going to be uh, a, a constant? Uh, from how you and, and the rest of the defensive staff laid out things in the previous years? Or are there going to be subtle changes that they might see under now um, a Ron Collins-led D coordinator uh, unit uh, as opposed to Jimmy Burrow in the past? Well, I think the base defense is going to be very, very uh, much the same. Um, we've been teaching it the same. So the first five days is, has been implementing the defense that we have had over the last you know, four or five years. Um, and then, you know, there's going to be some subtle things. There's some things that I bring to the table that we have done in the past and in my past that, you know, um, I think will help this defense. You know, it's going to be fun seeing this defensive unit. It's going to be fun to see you at the helm of it. Thanks for the visit. Good luck. All right. Thank you, Russ. That's Ryan Collins. I'm Russ Eisenstein, and this is Bobcat TV.